Hi, I am Monica Humple, Master Certified Coach, and this is part of a shorter video series I'm doing where I am answering questions from some of my Facebook Live sessions in my Facebook group. I go live in that group every second and fourth Thursday, and some of these questions are really, really thought-provoking. And I thought it might be helpful if you were having the same question, then you can get a short video with a shorter answer. So let me see if I can help you out with this one. This question is really good. When does acceptance come? Is that what they're talking about with the average of two years to heal? I know I'm still grieving, but I'm finding myself really wanting to live again. What a great question. Um, so. I think what this person is referring to is acceptance, which is the what they call the final stage of grief. You know, um, again, grief grief is not linear. I want to be clear at what I'm saying. There's no finish line with grief. We carry grief for the rest of our lives, but there is a point when we come to a place of acceptance. Now, that word acceptance. Uh, doesn't feel good to those of us who've been betrayed, and here's why. Acceptance almost sounds like that we're okay with what happened, that we're accepting it as okay behavior, maybe. And that's really not what grief acceptance is. Grief acceptance is more along the lines of accepting that it happened and that this is where we are and this is what we have had to go through basically accepting the reality of our situation um, we go through so many other phases you've got you know denial and you've got bargaining and, and anger and depression and you've got other things happening and those are all the things trying to come to grips with this accepting that this this is our life now this is where we are. So that being the case, um, coming to acceptance is really important because it's when you accept your current reality is when you feel like you can start moving forward and away from it. You know, moving, moving forward in this new reality, um, not feeling stuck in it, if you will, okay? Um, and she references the two average of two years to heal. There, that I think that's pretty proven. Okay, um, really, two years. Now that's that's two years without extra D days. Two years without trickle truths, things like that. Really, two years is a, is a good sweet spot. I have um, I tell my clients if they have had, you know, a pretty healthy recovery journey with their significant other and there have been no other situations or no other occurrences then you know I would say 18 to 24 months is kind of a good window to give everybody's different though but yes two years is floating around there and this person knows that she's still grieving but she really wants to live again so grief does not necessarily have to be debilitating it, it does not have to um, completely weigh you down. Grief, those emotions are supposed to go through you, like roll through you. You're not, you're not meant to sit in it 24-7. Now, of course, early on when we are still working through the shock and the pain, yeah, we're pretty much sitting in it the whole time. But if it's been a while, and uh, you're still having symptoms, I think that's okay. If you're still feeling things and you're still grieving, I think that's all right. And I do think when we come to acceptance, or at least for me, it felt almost as though it, I felt a lighter. And I actually started to become a bit optimistic about my future. Um, I, I was able to look ahead instead of spending a great deal of time looking behind me. Or worrying about where I was. I was able to look ahead and be excited for the future. I think that's a good way to indicate if you have gained acceptance, okay? Again, grief is not linear. Acceptance does not mean you will never be sad or depressed or angry or go through um, denial or anything like that again. Grief is ever flowing, you know? You'll have less of it, much less of it, if it, if it pops up at all. But it may be re-triggered. It may be re-triggered at holidays, anniversaries, things like that. 
So I hope that's helpful. Yeah, acceptance is a good place to be. And when you feel lighter and you feel like you've come to terms with the fact that, yeah, the, sadly this did happen and this is my reality, you may have reached that place. Okay, so uh, look up some things on grief. I will try to tag a video on here that I did on grief that could be helpful to you if you're struggling with that. As a master certified coach, I give free consultations, zero obligation. Okay, so if you would like to hear more about coaching, I encourage you to click that link below and schedule. I'd love to talk to you more about it. All right, uh, okay, grief. Check out this next video.